our solar system. It wasn't always as organized and tidy as we know it today. What remains of our solar system is merely the aftermath of billions of years of chaos, destruction and construction. Our solar system, the sun, all the planets, including Earth and all the things on it, even you, started as a very big nebula of gas and dust floating aimlessly through the galaxy around 4.6 billion years ago. And it would have stayed that way too, if not for a nearby star reaching the end of its lifetime and collapsing in on itself, causing a humongous outburst of energy, known as a supernova. This gigantic explosion sent out a blast wave of matter and radiation that hit our early nebula, causing it to shift and become gravitationally unstable. This shifting causes some dust particles to collide with others. They stick together with friction or static electricity. As they become bigger, they are now more likely to collide with other dust particles and become even larger still. After considerable time, these clumps of dust have become large enough that they resemble rocks and pebbles. These rocks smash into each other with great momentum, blowing each other into tiny pieces that will get absorbed by larger rocks, increasing their mass. It's a destructive race to be the first rock to become massive enough for gravity to take the wheel. Eventually, one huge asteroid will dominate the rest, and any smaller asteroids in its path will be consumed and add to its ever-growing mass. After about 100 million years of these huge asteroids smashing into each other, we are left with a protoplanet, a vast ball sucking in billions of tons of orbiting debris. This is the Earth over four billion years ago. Asteroids smashing into the planet like rain, vast oceans of molten rock and iron, swirling clouds of smoke and fire. The Earth would still be in this desolate and hellish state if it wasn't for the sun blasting away all the unneeded dust and debris with its dramatic entrance into adulthood. The sun is by far the most massive object in the solar system taking up over 99% of its total mass, leaving less than 1% for all the planets. Eventually, the mass of the sun has become so great that the temperatures and pressures in its core have become large enough to initiate nuclear fusion. This reaction releases a powerful blast wave of solar winds that sweep away all the remaining loose matter in the solar system. What is left behind soon settles their final disputes, and we are left with the solar system we know today. Neptune. Uranus. Saturn. Jupiter. And the rocky planets. Mars. Venus. Mercury. And of course, the Earth. Fast forward a billion years and the next true advancement comes. Life.